Hey guys, Kyle here from Stuart's Paracord. I had a lot of requests from some of our users to see how our deluxe survival grenade is deployed in the field. So uh, I'm going to show you that today. This is a, a new design we have coming out. Same components, uh, just a little bit better organized for your uh, ease and use. So to deploy this in the field, if you look on the back where the weaving ends up the top here, you see two melted ends. All you got to do, pop those. So the melted part of the paracord breaks, right? And then all you have to do is unthread it and it comes out, right? I want to unthread this one all the way because I got to thread them back up. But once it's unthreaded inside, you'll find this fancy, well, not really fancy, but a standard mint tin here. It'll have some tape on it, take the tape off and inside all kinds of goodies. All right, so inside we got a salt packet. This one happens to be from McDonald's, but a salt packet is very important when in a survival situation. Salt keeps your electrolytes up. Two water tabs. Inside you use a bromine or an iodine tablet, and it helps to uh, sanitize your water. This will give you about a good liter of drinking water from just about any source after you filter it through a sock with some sand or some other filter similar. Next thing, razor blade, always good to have. Uh, it's not very good for cutting wood or anything, but if you have to do any minor surgery on yourself to get out any type of contaminants, anything like that, razor blades are good to have. Okay, something I always like to put in my survival kits. This is just a standard wax soaked uh, piece of paper here, or not, not piece of paper, but a pile of uh, paper pulp. It's really, really flammable, really easy, good for starting fires. Uh, you saw you saw on the outside of the last one here, and this guy right here, this thing. It's a buckle, and inside the buckle is a flint right here and a striker right here. It also has a nice whistle on it you can use to uh, signal for help. Snare wire. Uh, most of my kits include either brass or stainless steel snare wire. Uh, you can use this to snare small game uh, for food and whatnot while you're in survival mode. Twine, also called fire jute. It's really good to cut up into small pieces. You can use the razor blade for that and make uh, tinder to start a fire. Fishing line. This is uh, Red Fox 40 pound test fishing line. Uh, you can catch just about anything with it for hand fishing if you have a, a, a water source nearby that contains some fish. Seeing as I'm using Altoids tins, there's two Altoid mints in there. They help keep your saliva in your mouth, keep you hydrated. Uh, it's also a good little sugar boost using these. And it's, you know, it's something familiar, which is what you can always use in a survival situation. Almost all my survival kits contain something that looks like this. It's a little sealed up uh, piece that has all your small components. So inside this you have your two uh, swivels, your two hooks, your two weights, your four grubs, your one large grub, your two paper clips, and your three strike area matches. It also waterproofs the matches somewhat so that uh, you can use this in all weather. Inside here, that's something I think most survival kits should have more of. This is just standard facial tissue, Kleenex if you will. Uh, you can take this Kleenex and use it as tinder to start a fire or you can actually place it inside this metal tin once you've already have a fire and it will become a very good fire starter. It will be turned uh, to basically charcoal. And also something else I think they should all have, this is just a standard piece of dryer lint. Now if anybody who's ever played with this stuff before, you simply need to touch a spark of this and it will light up like nobody's business. All right, so that's all kept in the tissue like that. You can use it for fire starting. Another thing we have, a tea packet. Right, it's good for a warm beverage. It's something comfortable, something to keep you, uh, you know, happy, keep you focused, uh, and keep you, uh, keep you working, keep you alive. Another really important item in here, tin foil. Right, it's got a shiny and a dull side. You can use the shiny side to signal for help. You can form this into a little pot to boil water with or we can use the tin itself right and then of course the tin itself it can be used to keep all the items in you can keep uh, you can boil water in it you know, like I said you can take the 
Kleenex, put it inside the tin, let it sit in a fire for a while, and it'll turn that into a very nice fire starter too. And of course, the two items you don't see here uh, are the compass, which has an adjustable dial, so you can set uh, a bearing to follow. It also has a carabiner not used for climbing. This is strictly used to attach the grenade to your kit. Uh, I hope I've answered some questions for you guys here. Uh, if you have any more, feel free to send them in, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you.